Hello guys and welcome back. So doing a um, toy photography vlog again. As you can see, I'm out in the middle of uh, the countryside. I thought I'd do, um, it's a nice day, so I thought I'd go for a walk and try and do some um, photos while I was at it. I thought why not film it as well? It's nice and peaceful, no one around. So I'm gonna try and use some of the um, the fields around here, some of the ploughed ones, and some of the ones that have just been um, combined. So, because you can get that nice look um, when it's just been combined, you've got all the, like, the uh, bits of the wheat still sticking up. Um, and then the ploughed field, obviously, good for like battle scenes and stuff like that. So, um, Join me when I've found a good enough field and um, we'll set up and do some photos. So we're back, got a field. Um, this is just like a combine field. Um, recently cultivated, I think. So I've got um, Cad Bane set up here. You can see, got the sun kind of coming off to the side and then um, it makes it look like it's he's walking across our like wasteland sort of thing. So, um, use some atmosphere, atmosphere aerosol as well. Um, problem is, it's quite breezy, so it's not really doing much. Um, it's, it's just blowing straight away. So, yeah, that's Cad Bane. Um, I want to get a scarecrow shot as well because I want to get a fully, um, a fully cloud field for that. Um, yeah, this one. Um, just got a scarecrow and a scarecrow. Scarecrow doing what scarecrows do best, isn't it? So, um, gonna try and find another field, um, see what we can do, and um, join me for that one. See you in a minute. So, I've got a ploughed field here, um, literally just as I set up, um, the sun went in, um, but yeah, I've got him kind of set up there on the field with that kind of typical um, scarecrow like pose. But the minute I did it, the sun went in. But I got some shots done. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been nice. I, I never normally come out and walk around and hike and stuff when I'm doing photography. I normally just use the garden and stuff. So yeah, it's been quite nice just to come out. It's peaceful, no one around. Um, so yeah, if you can, like if you're doing photography and stuff, get out and get out and do some shots as well. So yeah, um, join me when we go back and we'll do the editing. Um, in a, in a bit so see you then hello guys and welcome back so we are in photoshop now so i've got some of the photos loaded up that we um i took on the um walk today um two of the scarecrow ones i want to do um this is the only cad bane one i really liked out of the ones i took um i did take a few um got this scarecrow one got this one and then I've got this um, scout trooper one as well. So obviously it was I was it was hard to film um, and take the photos whilst out on the field because it was quite windy as well. So I didn't want to didn't want you to have like wind going through the um, on the phone and stuff like that when I was recording. So took the photos off camera, um, but you're seeing them now anyway. So um, for this one, I'm literally only going to remove the wire. The rest of it. Um, can stay as is I'm not going to edit any extras on it and stuff like that um because this one i'm literally just going to do a lighting edit um and then we should be good to go this one turned out really nice and i, I like the perspective it's in as well um yeah taking a taking photos <clears throat> kind of below the the figure with stuff in front as well makes it look so much more realistic um, just makes them look bigger um, and it just gives you that sense of like perspective I guess because um, you see photos that are taken above the figure um, are usually they, they don't look great unless it's done purposely like um, there's a certain uh, angle you're going for or something like that but most of the time if you're above the figure it makes it look really small and unrealistic 
where this it looks more realistic because it looks bigger and you've got the, the stuff in the front that, um, the, that gives that sense of perspective as well the depth effect on it as well so that's all I was doing for that one um, I, it looks really nice that it looks nice autumn um, styled photo I really like that um, so this one I was actually going to um, use for a collab that I'm doing on Toy Photography UK uh, it's like toys in nature um, but I wasn't sure whether to use this one or this one um, like Halloween I, I want to do a Halloween thing shot with Scarecrow as well and that one's quite a good one to be honest with you because um, Halloween's only next month and I, I often um, take photos and, and save them for different dates um, this one's quite good as well actually um, but there's nothing really on this one uh, to take away because I didn't need a wire with it, it stood really well um, it was on a cultivated field so it kind of dug itself in really um, so I'm going to get like a mist and place that on the old photo I, honestly I gave up with the um, with the atmosphere aerosol because it was just too it was too breezy for it kept blowing back in my face and stuff so um, it's alright just to add um, some effects in post this is a new photoshop I've just updated it and I'm trying to things have moved, some things have moved around and there's my blue lines appearing <laughs> that I don't, I'm not used to um, but yeah that's really weird um, so yeah, I'm just adding in some uh, mist and like some fog type effects like that. Could add like a rain, could add rain in, but let's see what it looks like with rain, and then we'll and then we'll move on from that because I don't want to add too much. Never add it all the way down either. If you add in rain in post, never add it all the way down. That don't look too bad actually. It's quite spooky. I like that. Yeah, I do like that. Um, yeah, never add them in like um, all the way down. Like if you add them rain and add it three quarters of the way down, otherwise it makes it look like you've added it in post or you've just used an overlayer, um, which I have. But you don't want it to look like that, do you? So just expand this is how I do all my photos I mean there's probably an easier way of doing things but this is why I've always done it and um, it's why I will continue to do it so that's the scarecrow one done um, obviously we take all these into Lightroom later on don't we so this one staying as is I'm just gonna add its background on um, I'm really happy with this one looks great um, and I never normally think that about my own photos so um, yeah when I'm when I'm impressed with my own photo I, I know it's good so yeah I'm really really glad how that one turned out um, and this one this was the first one we took um, when we was out it's um, it's quite hard because I didn't want to stay on the field for too long because obviously it is the farmer's land and I don't want to get in the way or anything like that because um, he was working on the field um, just over the back of this one so I didn't want him to come over and then I was in his way, you know what I mean <laughs> so um, but most of them don't care alright, so that is the wire removed uh, on that one um, I think we'll just leave it as is, I think don't need to add much in, I'm just going to do lighting ones really for these shots I I think it did quite well really um, it's a shame the sun went in because I wanted to do a few more but we will stick with that so we'll move on into Lightroom see you in a minute so here we are back in Lightroom um, so for some of these I'm just going to lower the exposure a little bit raise the contrast and really I don't really need to do much more um, for this one anyway um, so uh, see that one doesn't really need it either um, the, the next one does yeah, 
let's do this one. So lower the exposure, raise the contrast, and raise the exposure a little bit. Shadows go down. Could actually saturate it to black and white. Or just slightly. Saturate it slightly. And then do shadows black. I'll bring that down a little bit. Contrast. So I don't want it too too bright, but I don't want it too dark either. So it's getting that balance. And that's the only, that's the hard thing about all this. And then temperature could lower the temperature down a little bit, or I could raise it. No, I think I prefer. Yeah, I prefer that one. And then this one doesn't really need too much. So there we go. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Um, it was a bit different going out and doing some photos. So I might do that again uh, at some point. Um, weather dependent, obviously. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget. Use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what